All right, welcome folks here. We are going to take a look at our wood framing project. All right, so let's take a look. You should have received one of these handouts here uh, that says wood framing project on it. Uh, if you are at this point and you are watching this video, you are to step two, and I appreciate you following directions. Let's move on here. Uh, next thing on this list after watching this video is you're going to go through and you're going to watch a video under the Ag Mechanics playlist, and it's called a Wood Stud Wall Framing by House Improvements. It is 22 minutes and 24 seconds long. Let's swap over to our, my YouTube channel here. Remember, all you do is search up here, Randy Lund, and you can find my channel, all right? We're already on my channel. Click on the playlist for Ag Mechanics and scroll just about all the way down to the bottom. No, it looks like I made an error. It is actually 2225. Anyways, you're going to click on this video right here, Wood, Stall, wood Stud Wall Framing. And you're going to watch this video. During this video, you're going to take one page of notes. These notes here will be included in your final submission along with this top cover sheet. Uh, those notes need to be uh, diligently taken while watching that video. Those notes will come in handy in helping you finish your final assignment. So your final assignment for this project is to create a one-page flyer with the necessary steps required for building an interior wall with 16-inch centers. In the video they talk about a couple different options. I want you to pick the 16 inch centers and you're going to uh, create a flyer for that. This one page flyer should be eye appealing. You may choose to create this flyer in Publisher, Word, or PowerPoint. Uh, the flyer should have all of the basic steps in an easy to read format. Pictures would be a good thing to include. There needs to be at least six separate steps included in your how-to guide. So this is kind of like the DIY, right? You're going to give a how do I do this if somebody has never done this before? How do they do it? Uh, I would encourage you to get online and look at other examples that you might be able to find for some guidance. Uh, please do not uh, plagiarize. Or use your own words, but uh, you can get some other ideas out there. Some of the categories that I want you to keep in mind uh, that you should be talking about is measurement, tools needed for the project, Layout. How are you lay out? That's probably a pretty big important one. And then fastening methods. Well, what is fastening? Well, how do you, are you going to attach the wood? Uh, don't just tell me nailing because there's different styles of nailing. So what are they? What types of nailing practices are they using? If they're nailing it together, or are they gluing it together with some Elmer's glue? Well, probably not. Finally, on this front page, you will see here that it is uh, the grading rubric and how you're going to be graded. Your notes are 25 points alone. Yeah, the content, having good content in your flyer and actual relevant material is 75 points out of the 150. So that's 50% of your grade right there. Formatting, 25 points. Is it eye appealing? Is it formatted in a nice way? And spelling and grammar. Spelling does count in life total of 150 points available on this project. Uh, taking a zero on this could mean uh, serious consequences for your grade. This wood framing project is due March 4th. That is just about two weeks from now. All right. Good luck. Ask questions if you have them. Work diligently. And until next time, take it easy.